The autumn celebration of the goddess is Ashvina Sara Dianavaratri, the nine nights of Mother Divine. Sarat, autumn, Navaratri, nine nights. A term that we also have in our Norse spiritual heritage, Fortni Sidur, Purana Svadaha. The goddess gives divine flow in life and health, knowledge and wisdom. These are nature's holidays, ancient and natural, not man-made, but divine as nature is the expression of divinity. Connected to the planets, stars, the cosmos, and we thank for nature's gifts. We happen to know now where from they come. We rejoice and we thank the goddess for her unbounded power, for her power of creating as her dynamic aspect permeates all there is in the world of men. On Mahalaksmi's day is her blessing eightfold naturally. Dhana Lakshmi gives well inner as outer. Adi Lakshmi is the first in all there is. Vira Lakshmi gives a strength, splendor and valor of the hero. Katya Lakshmi is she who the elephants love. Santana Lakshmi protects our family and forefathers. Vijaya Lakshmi gives victory. Aishvarya grants superiority. Gaia tree is found in Sarvaloka, also in our physiology. She is the greatest of goddesses. Please read again and again, at least thrice, what Maharaja Atihiraja Nataram says about Gaia tree. Her 19 abodes, all illustrated many pages, a wonderful illumination. We have in goddesses Sarvadarshin, all seeing, like our Sauga, Sarvadeva, Pantheon, all gods and goddesses, Sarvaloka, all worlds. Danvantari's name has a meaning like all other names, Da, like Buddhi, the orderly nest that is everywhere to be found, like our Raun. Da Na is that all pervading Buddha as possibility uncreated. Exactly on this point, mind becomes to be, ahamkar becomes to be, and all diversity becomes to be. One ta is here together, singularity and diversity, actually opposite values, silence and dynamism, but go so perfectly together and support each other perpetually. Ri is the impulse or propelling or driving force stimulator within singularity, parashakti. On her day, day of Dan Vantari, we awaken silence of Purusha and Parashakti, the uncreated dynamism. In a dawns on her day, this sphere of life where these two dwell. Creative intelligence is awake, grants wealth, good fortune, health, longevity, knowledge, wisdom, enlightenment. Helps our wishes come true and our desire to be fulfilled. No small things. It is here that Vilbjörg is awake. At Ayis, the abyss of consciousness. No obstacles, no fear, no illness, no negativity. It is our protection. We go all the way to the most subtle levels through Vaikari, Madhyama, Pashanti, Para. This is our goal for every child on earth. 